Let's do some scales. Oh, really? Oh, don't be like that. Arpeggios. Those are the newbies at the moment. Yeah, well, I forgot all about practicing that. So hang on a sec, so it's... <laughs> Just with your third finger on that one. So you got your thumb, second finger, third finger, long finger. That's right. Let's take it a little bit slower, just so it's really easy and comfortable. Good. Cool. And you're getting that nice little movement around with your mm, wrist. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so was that C major or C minor? No idea. Um, didn't sound too sad. Okay. It didn't, it didn't sound joyful either. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't sound like that. Okay. That sounded happy. <laughs> it was happy. It was major. Okay. Okay. Right. So, can you remember how to make it into a minor arpeggio? You change. You do something with second note. second finger, so it would mm -hmm. be. note that you play yeah. in the arpeggio if you start major and you want to make it minor yeah. you drop it a yeah. semitone and you go up yep. if you want to go if you want and to go if you start way. minor say a minor so what was that a minor See, this is the problem right i can't actually tell the major and minor right because they just sound like music to me right okay so it, this is the problem i've had with these arpeggios because i don't know which way to go because i don't know what they are Right. Okay. We'll have a full back plan in a minute. Right. Um, listen to this. And listen to this. Okay. Does one sound brighter, happier than the other? Yeah, the second one sounds sort of brighter, but that's because you've moved it up a note. Oh, yeah. Okay. You just went, oh, she must have done minor, and she went up, so it was major. No, no, no. Okay, well, well good. Well, well okay. if you asked me to guess, I was going to guess major. <laughs> right. Based on that logic. But, yes. But of course, I mean, if you move it up further up that, that move the keys further up, notes further up that way in the piano, they're going to sound happier. Not necessarily. Well, that oh, sounds uh, happier than that. It sounds higher than that. Yeah, but it sounds happier than that I, too. Okay, all right. Because that's down in the dumps fair, and doldrums and. Fair and, enough, and, fair enough, yeah. fair enough. Okay. All right, so, yes, if we started minor, which was that chord, A minor, yep. and we raised that guy a semitone, we make it sound happy. So that went A minor to A major. Okay. Okay, let's... Weren't you missing a key there? Yes. The arpeggio. Yeah. <laughs> the, the arpeggio uses your chord, or your tonic triad, right. basically. That's another way of saying those one, three, five. Oh, uh, right. And it's got the eighth note up above. Oh, uh, right. So you've got a top tried and an afterthought as an opinion. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be one of these days, isn't it? <laughs> well, you did want to do scales. <laughs> okay. Now, if you want to have a quick way of working out whether the first two notes are major or minor, you can't hear the difference. Okay. Yeah. So if we go back to... C, because we know that's major, so we know that's a minor one. Okay. Okay. Three semitones will give you what we call a minor third. So, a. a that, that, and that. So, that's one semitone. Yeah. That to that's two semitones. Yeah. That to that is three semitones. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, if you want a, a th interval of a third, Right. Like a skip. That sounds minor. You are doing... So it's a skip, you mean? That's, that's a step, isn't it? That's, that's a step. That's a skip. So a skip, yep. Yeah. Right. Now, that skip at the moment, right? Actually, I'll just turn the overhead on, so... Oh, that was it. Three? Uh, three? Number two. Number two. Number two. And that. Right. It's three pedal cameras, is it? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So that interval at the moment the skip right yeah and you're wondering oh is that major or minor i, I can't tell okay. i'll 
do my trick to see if it's a minor third. So, so one, one semitone, two, two semitones, three, three semitones. So it's not. It's, it's not. Two. No, that's right. So that would be your minor sounding third. Right. And your major third. Okay. You're sort of leaping into interval territory now. Okay. Because you can have major and minor and perfect intervals. Okay. And just for the moment, easiest way to think of it, this is coming, if I play an F major scale, those notes yeah. are coming in the major scale. Okay. If I played an F minor scale, which you haven't learnt yet, yeah. but that's okay, F harmonic minor, I played that, 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 yeah. that one. Right. Yep. So if when you're doing your arpeggios, you think, oh, crap. I don't know whether that was a major or minor. Got my first two notes. We did those two. I think it's major. Oh, double check. One semitone, two semitones, three semitones. Right, so I know three semitones is minor. That's my major sounding one. Right. So you can sort of shortcut it a, okay. a bit that way. If, All right. If that helps. Yep. Hang on, let me help me figure it out. Okay. It won't help me. You will get used to I the. Sound. So you know, play a play of F minor arpeggio, and I was just thinking about. Oh well, I might suppose I can make oh, you, it up. Oh, you, you, you. So an F minor arpeggio would be. Well, you know the F major scale, right? Two. That's that's that one there. That's there. That's two. Yep. So that's just three. Yep. So F minor is going to be. Okay, you know your top note's got to be the same yeah, yeah, as the bottom yeah, one. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Right, so that's the F minor one. That's F minor, yep. And make it F major. Okay, well that's easy. Sorry. Yep, cool. Yep. Good. All right, let's try D major in your left hand. D major in left hand, right. Let's start down really low to low, so, that's okay. okay. So D major in left hand. Now, you can so think of your D major so scale. That's, that's one, that's two, that's three. See so what D major, that's the minor. So mm -hmm. D major is going to be. Yep. Good. Like that. The other way to think of that is I know my D major scale. I played F sharp. So for your D major arpeggio, you're also going to play F sharp. Okay. Because you're using the first, third, fifth, and the eighth note. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So your minor arpeggio is the first, third, and fifth, and eighth notes of the minor scale. Correct. Right. So arpeggios are the same notes that are in the same in the scale for the same letter. It's just missing out. Correct. Four of the notes. Yes, three of the notes. So you've got eight notes. You play four. Must be missing four. Oh yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah, because they're the same, yep. Right. Yep, that's right. So if you think of your scale. Yeah. D major. Well, maybe scale is only seven notes. Is scale seven notes or eight notes? Well. An octave is eight notes, An right? octave's eight notes. But the first and the second are the same. The, so an octave's really only seven the, notes. No, an octave's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, okay. Eight. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, there are seven different notes in the scale, I suppose right. you can think of that, but there are eight notes in the scale, which goes C to C, yeah. Okay, alright. Yeah. Right. No, no, you're, you're right, we left out that one, that one, that one, and that one, so you left out. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Alright. That's right. So I'll get the scales right, and the arpeggios are easy, because I just basically think, what's the scale that I've got to play, and then miss out four notes. Okay, I can work with that. Yep, you can work with that. <laughs> right, yep. Yep, cool. So you have one more in your left hand, yep. let's go for... For... The interesting one, B major. B major, okay, so B major. The cat goes to and, go and eats birds. Uh, okay. Right, so that's everything. No, 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 not quite. B? Yeah. Go down a semitone. What's that one? Must be flat. Not on B major, it's not. B major can't have a B flat in the scale. Why 
Americans if you're Nisha, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. Nisha. Why yeah. can't I have a beef fat in the scale? Okay. Um, you've got to have, put it, putting it very simply, you've got to have every letter name of your notes going up, if that makes sense. So if I did B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, B flat, B, what happened to A? Got missed out. It missed out. It had to be A sharp. Right, okay. I mean, this is putting it very basically. Yeah, crudely. Fu- yeah, fund- can... Crudely. <laughs> fundamentally, yeah, right, yeah. yes. For your, for your scale. Simple for me. Yes, for your scale, <laughs> it must contain every letter name. Okay. So without any of the sharps, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Gotcha. Cool. Yep. And then we go, right, B major. For our ordering of tones and semitones in a major scale. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Going back a while, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. We've got to put in some sharps. Right. Okay, now, getting back to B. Yeah. And we went down a semitone. And that was going to be, in that trick for the major scales, that was going to be the last sharp in the key signature. I'm guessing it's going to be all sharps. Well, we're, let's... All black notes, I should say. Well, uh, one step at a time. I'm allowed to guess. Okay. All right. <laughs> right. So, A sharp is going to be the last sharp in the key signature. Yeah. Major. Okay. Fred. Fred. Okay. Cat goes, goes down, down and. and. Right. So it does not contain eats birds. Right. So it's an E or a B sharp. Correct. Right. So. So the white Fred keys. Cat. So it's F C. G. G. Fred Cat, Cat goes, goes down, down and. Right, okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So, we're going to start here and we're going to go. Fred. Okay, we were thinking of the arpeggio. We've, we've kind of turned it into the scale now. Oh, okay. That, that's all right. Well, I need to figure out the scale first, don't you I? You do. For B right. major, for your left hand. Start on your fourth finger. Okay. Yep. So now we do normal E, and we didn't have E sharp or anything. Are we doing the pitch or the scale? We're doing the scale. Okay, it says D. Yep. So you've got to do E and then move up. Then your fourth finger comes over the top for F sharp. And you walk up. So it's G sharp. So it goes. Yep. So it's G. And you want. The A sharp so as well. Yep. Yeah. That's right, so it's all the black keys. Right. That's what I guess doing wrong. Yeah, but well, I get yeah. E's not a black key. You might have gone. That is true, I might well have done that. Yeah, yes. yeah, you're right. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so I've got to combine all the black keys with the fact that I've got to have every letter name. Okay, yep. And that's the B B major scale. Correct. So the B major arpeggio then yep. is going to be the first, the third, the first. fifth note. So, so B, you want to start with your B? B I, right, so, yep. so, so think of the third note that you played. That would be that one there, so it would yep. be... Yep. And then think of the fifth note that you played. So it's going to be fifth, it's going to be fourth, it's going to be fifth. Very good. And, and that. that. Yep. Arpeggio has got the two, you know, it's the break, it's got the two outside the break or the two. Okay, yeah, yeah you can, you can yeah. think of it like that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you can see how the scales and arpeggios interrelate. Mm. Yeah. But okay. you, the, the more familiar you get with your scales, the right. easier it'll be to know what notes you've got to do in the arpeggio. Okay. Yep. All right. Oh. And why are we learning arpeggios again? Blows your brain. Are you ever learning arpeggios again? I said, no, why am I learning arpeggios? Oh, it's like, well, you do scales. They come up lots. Right, okay. and, and Well, you need to point them out. 
You say that's an arpeggio. Remember in your jig. Your jig. Oh, giga. Giga. Yeah. I will point it out to you. Giga, jigger. Jiggy, giggy. Remember at the time, I probably even wrote it in. I said, this is an arpeggio. And you went, what's an arpeggio? I explained it then. Ah, oh. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. That is a C arpeggio. C going down. Yeah. C, G, A, uh, C, G, E, and the C. Yeah. So that's one, two, isn't it? That is your G arpeggio. G, D, B, G going down. Yeah. So, just you've got, just you've got some of those in, this, in, this, in arabesque. Because there's something that looks a bit similar to that. Uh, in one of the ones I'm playing at the moment. Okay. Could well oh. be. Oh, or, okay. or like bits of it. You might have. Well, if they're not just, if, if it's only bits of it, mean, it's not an arpeggio, is it? Well, that's the full arpeggio. Right. But you might have you might have just a tonic triad, like an arabesque. We've got that tonic triad of right. A so that's called a tonic triad when you've got the, the the three notes, the first, third, and fifth note right, on okay. the okay. scale. Right. Yep. Well, lots of those in arabesque. Then. Yeah, there are lots of those, and in different right. inversions. This is turning into a bit of a theory lesson, but that's okay. Okay. Yep. So remember in your arabesque, just that, uh, sorry, in the jigger yeah. at the end of that, here comes the arpeggio. Oh, yeah, and I had that fancy thing there too, which was the Donald Duck one, yeah. The Donald Duck, yeah. Uh, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. So what, they, what do we call the thing again? That's uh, technically called a lower mordant. That's right, mordant. Yeah. So. I remember Lord of the Rings, because it's sort of like a Lord of the Rings thing, isn't it? A mordor. Okay, if that works. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, more than that. Right. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, like scale fragments, arpeggio patterns turn up lots and pieces. Right. Um, what I meant by um, not necessarily having all the notes of the arpeggio in is you might have a pattern like that. There's a piece called Song of the Pine Tree. Sounds nice. Who do I need to play that? Probably quite soon. You oh, could do okay. that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that uses that sort of stretch of the arpeggio. It uses most of the notes of the arpeggio. It's just not using okay. yeah. that much. Second one, yeah. But if you practice an arpeggio, you've got that hmm. shape set in your hand. You think, mm. right, oh yeah, that's doing stuff like that. Okay, well, I'll try to make a little bit of practice my pigeons. <laughs> hey! Awesome. All right. Uh, you can choose. What do you fancy? Do you want to do Arabesque? What did we do last week? We did um, like seven, seven Street yeah, Blues. Well, so probably seven, yeah. should do Arabesque. Yep. All righty. Arabesque it is. Just slip that one there. All right. Happy to start wherever you like in this one. You don't have to start at the start. Well, I might as well just start at the start and go all the way through, and you can. Okay. Right, so, um, all right. So, um, I'm going to go to the arpeggio. Yes, those two. Okay, yep. Yeah. And then it's... Good. And then go to here. Mm -hmm. And go down to D. Yeah. Just... Uh, Actually, 
a website. See if you can look it up. Sorry, I hope so. Yep. What's on there? Just sit on the last one. Oh, right. So yeah, it's okay. a two-beat note with a pause. Oh, right. Oh, there's the dots, not, the a, little... not a little thing. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Ah, right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's not a staccato. It's a... It's a, it's a pause. Right. It's got the little yeah. half circle on top. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. We're going to practice going from bar eight to bar so nine. The transitions between the That's sections. the transition. Yeah. The big... Yeah, shift. Then I've got another one over here as well, haven't I? Uh, yeah, yeah there yeah. to there. Yep, yeah. cool. All yeah. right, so let's get ourselves lined up for so that one. one. So that one there is, is that. Yep. And then the top one um, is, so it says it's A because I made a note, obviously. You did? So um, not that one, it'll be that one. That one, one. good. Yeah. Okay, now just think about it because we know our left hand, the bottom one just has to drop. So that's so it's going from that to not that, right? too big an issue. Yeah, you've had one, three, five. You're just gonna the bottom one's gonna drop, and you're gonna move, the second move your second one. finger there. So you've got Sweet. five through one going to that. Okay, yeah. so that's cool. Now the nice thing about this is that um, I just pop that up. Right, there we go. Okay, so going from. Well, you've obviously already talked about this with me before because we've got lines around it. Yes, yes, here, right? as, as, a, little, as yeah. a little block. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, that E, I think I need to really find my thing. Ooh, that E there, yeah. check out this note. What's that one? Uh, that's an E as well. Yep. That helps. Doesn't it? Yeah. So you've come there. Da, 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 da. You're going down octave. back down an octave and you're just going there with your third finger. Oh, okay. So it's not a. So it's not a. Can't do that. Not quite that. It would be easier if it was that. But you're just doing that. Right. Okay. So, so you can. Looking at that, it's an E. Yep. Mm. And if you want to put. Actually, I can put. So there, you're going to drop 
an octave. So it was fifth third finger. It was the third finger. Yeah. Three. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. So uh, let's do that bar. Okay. All right. So that's going to be. It's, it's, got the rest as well. it's even easier because you suss out your left hand first and you got the rest in there. Yeah. yeah, great. Do that one more time. Oh. So remember, nothing's going to happen on that. Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay. Right. Easy peasy. Now, the next one. Is 25 to 26. And perhaps do... That's an E to a B though, so that's. That's slightly further. Still got a rest, but. Yep. Um, I remember that by going, I have to get my third finger back to my C. I've got my third finger back to my C, I'm right. Okay, that works. Yep. Um, what you can think of is because you come from there basically you so the same me hmm? so the same me yeah exactly the same oh, right. pattern oh, okay. right, right yeah. da, 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 da. you got to navigate to if you think of your b location wise top one top white key of your group of three right so think of from there you're heading to there yeah it doesn't quite work for me because the implication is that you want to move down to like that, right? Which is not right. Because it means I haven't got my right no, finger on the right have, one, right? You, yeah, you've got to shift there with your second yeah. finger. But, but that's okay, just you can just leave your finger. I tend to think of where's, <laughs> yeah, I know. where's my first finger need I, to go? I know. Because then the other ones follow, you see? Oh, actually. And so I know that, that if, if I'm going for that one up there, right? Third, third fingers to the C and the first fingers Even the better, even better. I'm jiggling on my seat, right? All you have to do, because that's that. Hang on, I'm going to put the over here camera on. Oh, is this a, 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 a Janie? This, uh, is, a, this uh, is a super duper. An inspirational. Inspiration. It's, it's drop dead easy, right? Because you've done. Da -da 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 -dum. Yeah. Go down an octave. You're in position. You just oh, take right. that down so, an octave. So, A. Da -da 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 -da. And let's go down an octave. Go down an octave. Bomb bomb. Oh, yeah. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha ha. Earn my money today, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> go down an octave. Go down an octave. It's a hand shift to an octave is probably the best way to go. Yeah. That's the easy otherwise, way of thinking about I'm not, it. I'm not going to go there. Uh, uh, okay. Fair so enough. Go down octave. Hand shift. Problems actually with are these shifts here because uh, for some reason they're a little bit inconsistent with something else. Because well, you've got to go from A to D, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got to start with D so it's not starting at the where you finished off. And then this one you do have to start where you finished off. Da, 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 da. And then that one you've got to start where you didn't finish off and not even where your fingers are. You've got to go to there, D. Yep. And I think that's inconsistent with something it's, that's earlier on as well. It's based on what you had at the start. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That's why I need mean, something a bit different about it. Because these ones just. Yeah, that, that these one. These ones just follow all the way up, I think. Does it again from A. Right. Yeah. Whereas that one doesn't do it again, it 
shoot straight to right. that one. But again, if you if you got to look for where you've got to get to, that's an easy one to find because it's bang in the middle of your two flat keys. Yes, as long as I know it's D, which is why, which is why I wrote it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Head back to 25. Let's do that shift. All that's got to change, and that's actually an easier change in your left hand there because right. you do not need to shift fingers like you did oh, on the other yeah, one. Yeah. Yep. You just swap three to two. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. well, if that last one's an A, that means the first one's an A because it's A. So that must be mm -hmm. there. Very good. Um, and that one there must be basically so it's there. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, you see, I've got to go down again, haven't I? Right, yeah, mm. okay, right, yeah, mm. right, okay. Just gonna get my brain in gear. Sussed. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Cool. Back to... Yeah. 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 Check your right hand. Left hand's good. Um, it should be C and A. Should be C and A. Did it is play? C and A. Did you play C and A in your right hand? I'm pretty sure I did. If I say I did, I did. <laughs> okay. And is there an easier fingering than that? Well, you'd probably go with that. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would, 100% of the time, <laughs> for that context, yes. <laughs> okay, cool, well done, that's got our shifts. Um, well, so I guess the practicing is the shifts as, as well. Is I getting your shifts, shifts a little quicker, Yeah. and just watching that you're... Oh yeah, I'm doing the staccato, yeah. Doing the, yeah. yeah, it's the it's brain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm conscious of it, yep. I'm, I'm still yep. holding it down too long, I'm kind of Yeah. But, but, you know, maybe focus one time through, you work on the shifts, and if the staccato in your left hand's not there, don't stress. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay. Next time, don't worry if the shifts are a bit slow, but concentrate on the staccato, right, so you're okay. just dealing with one thing at a time. And then try to get them in time with the other things. And, yeah, yeah. then put it all, all together. Right. Okay, all right. Bake in the oven for 30 minutes. Mm. Yeah. Hey, presto, help pops it. Arabesque. <laughs> cool. All right. Well done. Thank you. That's all right. Good yes. stuff.